Hello everyone. I'm here because the last couple days have been really exciting. I, um, well, I did a, a workshop for our local library using this as a model. And then, um, Rachel from Roxy Creations came on and received the, um, the little file folder taggy thing that I sent her for her birthday. And she made a little video and all of a sudden I had tons of subscribers and you guys put me over the 300 subscriber mark and I was thrilled because I've been trying to build my channel and it seems to be really difficult to do unless you post a video every day and so I work full-time I teach um, high school science and it's really hard to fit in a video every day so as a token of my appreciation and thanks to both Rachel and um, everybody else who has subscribed to my channel, I decided to use this little model um, journal as my 300 subscriber giveaway. And I'm not going to put this in the, the title. I'm just going to entitle it Flip Through, Journal Fit Flip Through, because I would really like it to be one of these 304 people I think I have now who subscribe and so I will tell you what to do in a minute but let me show you what it is that I'm giving away so this is a ring bound journal that I made and I have never made a ring bound journal before um, I decided I knew I had to do was doing this um, workshop for our local library it was had to be a book crafting and I had done one one before and I thought that this might be a really easy way to get people who are new to book crafting and journaling to make a journal because it's very flexible and you don't have to worry about reinforcing the spine or fixing things um, and I had been wanting to try one so this is a cover that I got from Jessica Rapp um, in a pack of stuff and it was just the cover um, and it was the two sides that matched and I love the color blue and it was a nice size so I decided to use that it's got two rings and I just made a quick little sorry silk tassel for it um, it's got book corners on these four edges and it's got reinforcements the closure is seam binding um, seam binding through a an eyelet sorry <laughs> through an eyelet in the back and just a little doorknob on the front and on the inside front and back cover I have I've reinforced it with um, Tim Holtz fabric so this is the first page it's a flippy outy I've made this kind of interactive um, and so there is a tall tag in this first ta tall tag pocket and that is on some cardstock and this is this Tim Holtz paper is the same pattern that the fabric came from. So that flips out and there's another tall tag in that pocket. And I've included uh, one of my flat pen paper clips that just clips onto there. And this is just a tuck with a couple of writing pieces on it. And then it also opens this way with another little tuck with some writing paper. And this is a flip up um, pad for writing uh, and this was see these these are little these are the two two little tiny um, staples and I finally got myself a tiny attacher so it was the first time I got to use that which was exciting and this is a time card and then it also flips out this way and there are am I still in frame yeah there are two little tags here and it does work so that when you close it the seam binding goes oops goes through those two tags so it doesn't interfere with the tags and that opens and then I've included a little mini ephemera folder see it says ephemera there that's a Tracy Fox label I believe and that has a magnet to keep it closed and then that opens up and this is some tracing paper pockets that I've just stuck some random little stickers and things in and there are also some pockets on the back side with some Tim Holtz ephemera, some washi stickers. It's just like little things that you might want to use. 
and I've reinforced them at the bottom with some washi tape. So that magnet's closed there. Oh yeah, there's some on the back too. And then this is an altered um, size 12 envelope. Oops, this is a size 12 envelope and it has some homemade reinforcing tabs that are made out of that all, um, vintage file folder. And so this is a tuck spot with a little writing bit. This is a pocket here with a little card. That's a Mrs. Cog's image. And then behind that is another tuck with just some uh, um, scrapbooking paper. And then inside the top pocket here is a um, long tag. This is this is Tim Holtz fabric. This is Stamperia paper. This is a Mrs. Cog's image. And the back is Italian, um, oh goodness, what's that paper called? Straw paper on some lace. And then there's also a tuck on the back. And then this is a coffee dyed, part of a coffee dyed file folder with a Mrs. Cog's image that's part of a, another, this pocket is part of a, an altered envelope. So there's a tuck there that I don't have anything in there. There's a pocket here and in back there in the file folder part, I've just clipped a whole bunch of extra um, images that I didn't get to use, but that you can use in your journaling. So that just clips onto this file folder with a little cute little clip like that. And on the back, there's another pocket. Um, this is an, another piece that altered envelope with a Mrs. Cog's image and a quote. So there's actually a tuck right there. See here, there's a pocket here and a tuck there. And that just slides. And that's just a piece of avocado dyed. Um, index card. And this is a time card with a guest check. And inside the time card this way is a little notebook. And this is an altered bag. So this is a Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodah inspired pocket with a string. And you open that up and there's a library pocket with a card and a Mrs. Cog's image. And then that glass closes with the string and a bow, or however you wish. And then in the pocket is a little puppy dog clip with some extra uh, coffee and tea dyed guest checks that you can use. And the little puppy just holds them in place. I think he's so cute like that. And then this is another time card with a guest check in the in the pocket and another notebook, but this is some different paper. This is some heavier paper, not quite cardstock. I don't have the package, so I'm not sure what it is. This is another one of those altered envelopes with the Mrs. Cog's image there, some quotes about kindness, another tall tag with a Mrs. Cog's image. And then another quote on the back with another little tag with Mrs. Cog's image. And this is fun. This is a little watercolor painting kit. So it has uh, little elastics here for paintbrushes. There's a Mrs. Cog's image on the pocket. And this is Artist's Loft. Um, this is a little palette of watercolors, but these are the watercolor pencils. So when you wet them, they'll turn into watercolors and you can use them um, to paint. So that's kind of your little travel palette. And then when you open this up, here is your, um, your watercolor paper that I put on a tiny little spine with a little bit of elastic there so that you can replenish your watercolor paper or if you prefer to draw whatever kind of paper you want. And there's a little journaling tag there, Mrs. Coggs. Here is a collaged book page tag there. This is, this is a Mrs. Coggs image. This is a bit of Artie Mays paper. This is some tea dyed paper and that's the straw paper. 
So that slides in there, and that's your little traveling art kit. And that, oh, and there's a, another one of those little envelope pockets on the back. And that is the back cover. So that is my journal for my 300 subscriber giveaway. And those are two inch rings, so there's room for this to grow as well. And this is, the closure is just a seam binding that ties around the doorknob. I thought that looked pretty. So if you could please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and just leave a comment below um, and in the comment, if you could please, um, I don't know, leave, leave a note that says, how about what type of journal you like and um, to use and what kind of journal you like to make. That would be awesome. So thank you. Have a great day. And thanks for subscribing.